Hello once again, everyone, and welcome back to One English Tip in One Minute for speakers of Chinese and its many language varieties. Each week, like clockwork, I present to you one common English mistake made by Chinese speakers, and this is video number 24. So if you haven't watched the other 23 videos, I hope you do that. I hope you go back and watch them. They're short and they give useful information, I think. I hope they help. But if you have, then you know what I'm going to say next. So I think it's a very smart, cool, and in today's world, practical thing to do for you to improve your English. So in these videos, I show you a slide. And on the slide, there are two sentences. One is the correct way that I, as a native English speaker, would say it. The other is the wrong way that many Chinese speakers say it. And you have to decide which one is correct. So please do that now. Read the sentences, listen to me read the sentences, pause the video, think about your answer, and I will discuss the answer in the slide that follows this slide. Which is correct. She is thinking she knows everything, or she thinks she knows everything. So again, pause the video. The correct answer is, she thinks she knows everything. So the rule of thumb with this is, verbs that describe states, such as think, have, know, be, love, like, they never take the progressive ing tense. So you would never say, I am thinking, or I am having, or I am knowing, or I am being. You do, but it's very, very rare. So that's a good rule of thumb. So did that go well? And if it did, and you got your answer with confidence, and you know why you got it right, then you don't need to think about this very much. You can move on. But if you got it wrong, or you just took a wild guess and happened to get it right, it just means you have to start studying. So, to start you off on that studying path, I've given you three sentences to study from. So memorize the sentences in their entirety, constantly review them, really drill them into your head, and put into practice what you've learned through speaking or writing or both, and kind of repeat that cycle until you've mastered this 